Hi guys, today I got my Intel new kit i7 which I bought online and I want to share you the installation process which I have gone through myself. You can see unboxing uh, the kit which I got today. It is pretty small and lightweight. had the charger adapter, the screws, I can see the instruction manual which came along with it which details uh, the whole installation process which is very easy and also it had This is uh, the frame which can be attached to the monitor at the back side if you want to put the nuke at the back side. And, uh, uh, this is the uh, RAM memory which I bought. It is a 8 GB. And this is the micro SSD. All these two has to be bought in advance which is already rec uh, recommended on the Nuke site. This is unboxing the SSD. And this chart shows the whole installation process, which I am going to start now. The first thing is the back plate has to be removed, which is a small star screwdriver. It comes off easily and be careful don't pull it up just keep up flip it down so two things which we have to install is the memory first we will go for the memory if you have only one single memory you have to put on the upper slot there will be two slots which is available this is the 8 GB So just it is as shown, just slide it down and slightly push it and push down. It clicks and goes into place. So that has to be on the top. If you have two memories, you can put it parallel. The next one is the SSD, the micro SSD. So this is also detailed how it is done. can see a small screw there okay slowly remove it be careful it don't puncture anywhere use a small star screwdriver for it it's too tiny be careful with it. You can start installing the SSD. So as detailed, you can slide it in to the slot, slide with a small push. It will be like a spring, you have to push it down and put the screw back so it will go into place. So screw it tightly so the SSD is in place. Okay, both are in place now.
Now, if you have extra 2.5 inch SSD or a 2.5 inch HDD, you can uh, put it on this slot. So just push it in. It'll just uh, it'll just get in. And put it back uh, and uh, tighten all the four, four screws. So the back plate is back. Right, everything is set as instructed. And one other thing which I bought is a cable which uh, mini HDMI, not a no, normal HDMI cable, just a mini HDMI which goes back for the display. And I used a wireless keyboard and mouse. And I used a USB for the Windows installation. That is a Windows installation USB. This is a power adapter which came along with it. And plug the power adapter at the back side. You can power it on. A blue light appears. It means it's on now. On the screen, you can uh, just wait for a few seconds. You can see the Intel uh, Nuke uh, BIOS uh, message. After a few seconds, uh, you can see the Windows uh, installation uh, starts up. So you can uh, select the language and other details. So it goes as a normal Windows 8 uh, installation. And the installation starts now. And there you are, uh, Windows key. And it took around uh, six to seven minutes for the whole installation to finish. Okay, one thing to remember, uh, it doesn't uh, or didn't install <coughs> the Wi-Fi uh, drivers or the network drivers. So I'll put the link there for the uh, Intel website where you can get all the drivers in one file. And one by one, you have to install all the drivers. So if you can uh, have it handy before starting installation, it'll be better. Otherwise, you will not get the internet done. So now the Wi-Fi is working, you can see. And by one by one, all the drivers has to be installed. So now the Nuke is ready. You can see it's running. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.